let's get start demo first so this is c plus plus program which i create in visual studio code so that's i want to show you how we can getting a start with c plus plus in bs code and visual studio so let's start uh, quickly run this application so there is a two options to run this application is and you know, run is a c plus plus file and uh, there is a debug option so first run with the run command so it will returning a uh, output which is should be hello c c plus plus word from bs code and c plus plus extensions so see this is i am getting the uh, output so let me zoom in for you so this is i am getting for here and same if i uh, run debug this application in bs code that also we can able to do that so let me debug here put the debugger point and here let's debug and definitely once is run see it is teaching over here and one by one step uh, we can further over right so this will be loop at to end and also you are able to see over here whatever data we are over here that is actually trying to adding over inside that message and then message also is adding over this count right so this is a, a little bit syntax of c++ if you aware that so definitely you know what is that syntax and overall so let's continue uh, continue that and remove that debugger point over here and see the output as well now it is getting my output so let's uh, start to implementation and uh, before uh, implementation i'm especially recommend if you first time visit in my channel so go to my dotnet real world example and here you will get you know many many real world examples over here like for example a uh, blazor application and you know dotnet core api angular react you know back end front end everything is over there so before uh, before proceeding please check out that all other stuff as well so now start to implement the first what what we need to do first first we have to install bs code so just you have to just install bs code so that bs code uh, you can get it from here let me show you first bs code visual studio code uh, the official website if you go to there and you can just download and uh, install it it is a very simple so that's why i'm not going to install again because i have already there and then now what is the next uh, step for to do that actually there's a two way actually we can run our application c c plus plus application in window uh there is a two mechanism one is a msbs uh, stuff and uh, and second one mean gw tutorial okay so we will do over here do both way the so first we'll install that mean gw uh, exe file so let me show you that uh, link which i already also i will share in the in the description so copy this link and paste it over here so this is that link let me zoom in for you so this is that link and that you have to install in your window application so let hit enter once you hit enter definitely uh, it is start uh, to download so i already download so i'm not going to again download i'll show you where is that file go to download section go to show folder so this is that exe file so which is we have to download and install so let me install that so once is download then double click on that and then just next and also just make sure whatever your path so keep it a default path and just next and then next uh, wait for till uh, complete this process so once uh, complete so finish it and then uh, once complete automatically will open this you know uh, command prompt which is providing that uh, that I mean gw uh, command prompt right so what i need to do next next i need to fire one command on there right so what i can do uh, let me close that 
open that uh, command prompt and then paste it over here so this command let me zoom in for you so this command you have to paste it over here so make sure you are not uh, uh, you know trying to uh, you know hit this command in your command prompt normal command prompt right so this should be once you install that you know bin uh, msys2 and uh, also that link which i provided you right so that is called this msys2 once you install so they will you know give us to this command prompt if you miss this command prompt definitely first what you can do you can just uh, you know check it over here msys2 like see this is that okay so once you uh, double click on that it will open it will open over here and then you have to uh, add those uh, those command so before add those command first one more thing actually you have to verify it is proper install or not right so that uh, yeah that we can do after this uh, execute this command okay so let close that and let hit enter so it will give you that uh, options like 1 to 18 options and also enter the selection so you don't choose any option just hit enter once you hit enter you will get this you know all the packages it is showing okay this is our packages and process with the installations definitely you have to put yes and then hit enter now you have to wait you know complete these all packages to install your machine so wait for the bit for the end of this completion installation all right so see i'm getting uh, some errors over here so if you getting some error while downloading this process so what you need to do again you just uh, execute those command one more time and just use same process enter and then y hit enter and bit again now finally i'm getting successful install over here okay so i don't know what is going on for this process because i i tried this two times always i install and uninstall and then again i try so same things again they required like two times i need to fight that command but yeah that is fine so if you face already uh, this process uh, first time is getting some error so definitely you have to run again same command uh, in in here in this tool so what i need to do next so i need to check actually uh, that properly install or not right so what the command over here i'll mention in this description as well so let me open now it's a normal command prompt it's a common command prompt here and see there's a default command prompt here what i will do i will just check first g double cc version yes it is 13.1 that is fine and also we'll check g plus plus so it is also there and then finally i will check the gdp so let me check this one also see now we have this three uh, checking process we have completed as well that means we have proper installed right and where is installed that also we can check it actually they have to uh, one path over here let me open that path so that path is just open your uh, run command and here see see my uh, msys64 uct and then bin so let me open this see now all the files and everything is installed in this folder why i am open opening and showing this folder because i need to set a variable path for this uh, environment variable path i have to add for this path right so that's why this path it makes sure like okay whatever we have installed it is proper install or not right if there is a file or anything else over there so that means it is proper installed so now open that environment edit environment uh, system variables and uh, go to the environment variable and here go to the path section edit 
and i have already ins i have already add over here so you can just what you can say just new and just pasted your path and just okay but i have already there already i have added it so i am not going to duplicate over here so let me cancel it cancel it and cancel it okay so this is done for the setup now start uh, create your uh, first application of c++ so open your visual studio let me open the visual studio over here and what you need to do you have to uh, you have to install one uh, one extension which is called as c++ so looking that c++ yes so there is a c++ and there is a c++ extension pack so if you create this c++ so definitely other extension patch, patch also will require so uh, i'm prefer to you i recommend to you like always use this c++ extension pack so that you can use all the whatever dependency and that you can already will be there okay so let me install this i already installed so i'm not going to install again so that is done then what you can do uh let me create a folder or just uh, create a directory where you can just create your uh, what is a project so go to that uh, d drive or any drives okay and my i always prefer to here d drive to project and then create a new folder over here so let's call uh, c plus plus project and over here let me open in this so once you create this uh, folder what you can do just open a sick command prompt and see now this is your uh, folder path over here what you can do just open your uh, this folder as a visual studio so what you can do just code dot and hit enter you will open your visual studio with this path and now now i need to create a uh, one file inside this folder okay so this is very simple again what you can do simply i will just create a hello world uh, hello world uh, file of cc plus plus so let me open hello world dot the extension of this file of c plus plus program c p p let me create this and once you create what you can do I can write a one program is a simple program to run so let me add this program over here see i just use include and then include i stream include vector and then include string and then also we using std namespace so definitely you have to be aware of this process because if you know that how we can write the c plus plus program so this program i just create for you know uh, uh, for the education level so that they know they have to create c++ program inside the visual studio code so now it's there and then what i can do i can just try to run first i will try to run and it will prompt this two options so you can use uh, c++ or g++ or you know that uh, cli exe so whatever you can just i will use this one so let me open this see it is try to run close so now it is completely actually once you try to uh first time you try to run so it is just creating you know see exe file as well as this bs code extension and whatever our uh information we required our command you know label type arguments so everything is will be it will be try to build uh, that g plus plus extension so now what you can do simply go to your file now you can just run directly now it will give the output see now output is there whatever your program is over there so it will be give the output similar you can just debug as well uh, for this debug options put the debugger and then run is a debugger now see 
इस डी वगैरह दे दिया जस्ट कंटिन्यू यू विल गेट दैट आउटपुट सी आउटपुट इज ओवर दियर सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल सो वट एवर प्रोसेस आई हैव डन आई विल जस्ट रिकअप वन मोर टाइम सो दैट यू कैन अवेयर दिस थिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल दिस दिस मीन जी डब्ल्यू टी सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फोर ऐप ओके सो फर्स्ट यू इंस्टॉल दैन यू कैन जस्ट हिट दिस कमांड एंड देन यू हैव टू हिट एंटर आफ्टर दैट एंड देन वॉट यू नीड टू डू यू जस्ट प्रोसेस विद द इंस्टॉलेशन विद द यू आई एंड डेफिनेटली इट विल इफ इट इज गिविंग द एरर सो अगेन जस्ट प्रोसेस सेम सो वंस इज डन definitely you have to check the version uh, whatever version uh, it is installed so after that you have to set that environment variable which i just shown you right so those are step i'll uh, show you uh, give you in my description you can follow that and one more thing so uh, this thing the another way i, I told you right in the first for uh, starting of this session where is the two way actually we can get it first of that uh, this like uh, no bin gwt and second up one is ms vc so how we can that so what you can do if you have installed visual studio 2022 so just uh, open that visual studio 2022 or just you can just install your visual studio 2022 let me show you and here is the visual studio 2022 and go to that uh, continue without code and uh, just open over here and go to the tools get tools and features yes so here what you can do if you do have a visual studio so you can check this section and installed okay once you if it is unchecked so first you check and then you have to install properly over here once it's done so open uh, your uh, visual studio and create a new project definitely you will see that uh, c++ uh, see here the all the languages you will just choose c++ and all the type you will able to see c++ console app you can just try to run over here just try c++ console app demo create yeah once it's created see the folder structure i'll show you the folder structure as well so it's just try to create a project and you know restore the all the dependency so let me open over here see here uh there is a header file csos files and also you no know, dependencies over here as well as our file is in a source file where is our you know c++ cpp file and here you can just remove every whatever comment section just giving the instruction how we can run so simply it just you know returning using that include io stream sd and count is that uh, you know count c out is a uh, just for the printed our uh print it on show that uh, output in the console so that's why we use c out and simply you can just run see hello world is there whatever we printed over here so that is there so there's a two way we can you know create our application in c++ if you trying to learn c++ in your window application so this two way you can follow and you can use it so that's it for this session and thank you and have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share